In the last video with Drift Truck V2, we fabricated a rear mount radiator setup. Now this radiator is to cool the engine coolant and keep the engine cool while drifting. But that's not the only thing that has to be kept cool while drifting. But with no more room in the back, we gotta move back up to the front and mount some coolers up there. And the stuff that is going up there is all of this. We have the heat exchanger for the intercooler for the supercharger. Absolutely massive for, you know, the absolutely massive amount of power we're gonna be making. You know, 300 wheel horsepower needs a lot of cooling. <laughs> then we have our old power steering cooler. To match it, we have a new cooler that will be our oil cooler. Figured, you know, let's try to keep this one easy sort of kind of reliable. What well, these are, power steering reservoir, some sort of reservoir for something, maybe brake fluid, maybe coolant. Catch can, need one of those. This is Mishimoto's baffled catch can. So it's got a filter and everything to actually really separate the air from the oil or the oil from the air really. But still very small and it looks sick. More things that really we're not gonna use today, but um, cooler thermostat for the engine and an oil filter relocation kit. I still have to get a different block for the engine and then all the lines and stuff. The way we're gonna do this truck is we're gonna get it done and then do all the plumbing in one video. So that's, that's gonna be a lot of plumbing in one video, but it's easier than trying to route stuff before you know where everything is. So, which watch how nicely this fits. So almost as if I planned that, you know? I didn't, by the way, but it's almost as if I did. Now, obviously, before we know where all this stuff can go, we have to put the front end back together. So, let's get to it. Yeah, not quite there, is it? <laughs> I think I need a new bumper is what I need, unfortunately. No, it's still better than what it was. We got our very crooked and destroyed front end back together. Just more money after sinking in this thing. So, there aren't gonna be any fans on this because I actually, maybe I'll put one fan on it. If I put fans on it, then I have to scoot it forward more. And I kind of wanted it to be like, kind of like right there anyway, something like that. So I'm thinking what I want to do with our one inch OD tube, build a little, little radiator, radiator shroud or radiator core support. It kind of comes off these two posts, comes forward and curves around, and that will mount the two oil coolers. And right now, the oil cooler gets mounted to the bumper, which is not good, because if you ever want to take the bumper off, then you have to remove the oil cooler, which creates a huge, a lot more, a lot more work. So if I make it so I can really take everything out, and it's still, everything's there, that'd be pretty cool. Off those two tubes, I could build a, a real bash bar Go into the chassis that goes right behind this big bumper. Yeah, and put like a jack mount there too. For this, I want to mount these just above the bumper. So the airflow comes to the grill because the grill has way more airflow than the bumper does. But if I mount it too high, then it's it's hard to clear the, the, the two lines, which I learned. All right, well, I think everything is kind of based off of where this radiator goes. So let's grab a fan. Or... This is like a little, it's a little mini shroud. If I if I was able to mount the oil coolers close enough to the intercooler and then put this little shroud with these two fans on on top, Quite heavy. use it so it kind of cools everything. Problem is that these fans are actually, although they're small in diameter, they're quite thick. I can, I mean, I can fit right there. That's kind of sick. And then it also doesn't take as much amperage and kill the alternator. Which may, may, or not, it may or may not work anyway, because we painted it. So I think, I think my idea is I'm gonna use the shroud I made for the intercooler on the Rally Miata. Mount this on the top of the heat exchanger for the intercooler. It'll be enough, I think, just to, you know, kind of help 
cool off the uh, heat exchanger while we're sitting in the pits and stuff. I think the front is still gonna get enough airflow and it's so huge that it's gonna keep the supercharger cold, I think. Um, but what I'm also gonna do, is I'm gonna mount these up against the heat exchanger. And then so these fans, not only will they be cooling the intercooler, they'll also be cooling both these things. Intercooler cool bracket that cools. It's a good name, file name, nice and concise. Heat exchanger goes there. Radiator, heat exchanger, you know, what's the difference? Essentially, as big as a radiator. Man, yeah, you can tell how crooked this bumper is. Cause look, this is mounted straight off the frame, more or less, right? And then look at how big the gap is here and how small the gap is there. Update those patrons. I can't let people remember I'm bald. Anyway, so now that we have this mounted, we're gonna mount the other two, and we're gonna mount the other two off of like a cool little cross member thing. Oh, but I'm realizing now it has to be removable. All right, a removable crossbar little thing that makes it way more difficult, of course. But you know, it's just gonna be a U that comes off. One side of the bar comes around, comes to the other side. Pretty simple. So I'd, ideally I want the bottom of these to be level with the top of the bumper. So like uh, about right there. So you wanna give me a, can you give me a marker? It's pretty much right at the exact half point of the, uh, Raid intercooler thing, heat exchanger. 666 millimeters. Yikes. 41 inches. I don't know how to convert my software into metric, so sorry guys. Back to eighth, sixteenth, thirty seconds, one sixteenth, thirty seconds point. Seven eighths. It's only hanging over the back thing about an inch or two. It's not even fully tight, so it would really be more like that. As I kind of figured it was gonna happen, I I messed up the first piece because I kind of forgot exactly how this works. The program does a good job at telling you how much access you need at the beginning of the pipe so that it will fit in the machine, but it doesn't tell you how much you'll need at the end so that it doesn't fling out and you know kill someone. So I forgot about that, and uh, it's too short, so. Let's try again with a piece that's uh, six more inches long at least. So, or I'll just do seven, so 48 inches in total. Oh, I gotta love wasting DOM. I like it, you know, it's not like it's expensive or anything. <laughs> You do good. You spin me right round, maybe right. So in order to make 
this unbolt the ball and look nice. Notch the ends, put a tube going up and down in it, put two bolts, weld those bolts in, then do two tabs that this slides in, bolts in. You want me to do that again? Okay, so. Notch tubes, put a tube up and vertical, uh, washers, nuts, weld it in, two uh, spaces, uh, the, 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 yeah. <laughs> So now, we gotta build the brackets that bolt from there and weld on to the chassis. Bam! 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 This does make quite a nice feeling. Uh... Off that removable cross member, one mount in the middle and then one mount on each side. <laughs> Hello, what's going on? See what that package says? Fish, baby. So fish was like, we're developing an oil cap for the 1UZ. Do you want to try it out? It's a prototype. And I was like, heck yeah, I don't want my stock oil cap. So I have no idea what this looks like, but who comes in a bag? They're Canadian, so they'll, they'll, you know, they'll probably say that anyway. Hey. Let's go. I mean, I took, I took the effort to paint the engine oil. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't look bad, but. It just kind of looks bland. I'd say that's a nice prototype right there. It's gonna make the rest of the truck look bad though, bro. Shine bright like a diamond. So huge thank you for Fish Racing for sending that out. We're gonna put it through its paces in about a month when this truck's finally running.
it's even more like a weapon. I was like, Wah. it's got a little blade right there. <laughs> similar to this I mean this is more you know just holding the oil coolers we will build an actual bash bar behind the bumper once we get a new bumper and everything that kind of mounts similarly similar, similar like that so that's pretty sick just by itself may or may not fit around those but I think it should the the height we mounted these at they don't you know, obviously if we mounted them so they're evenly spaced in these two vents, they'll get better airflow, but then we would have to cut the top to clear the things, and I like it where we mounted it. All of the lines and stuff will just stay underneath the grill, nice and easy. So I think we're, we, I mean, we can literally just kind of mount it straight to there. And then the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is build a little overflow box right here that connects to this coolant line and has the fill cap for the cooling system. But this gold ain't it. It, it ain't it. Ain't it. time to make the fill slash overfill box. Part of the reason why we're doing this is because obviously the cooling system is gonna be AN lines since you know it's a rear mount radiator and I forgot to weld the AN bungs onto this before I put it all together and in order to remove that you have to remove the supercharger. So partly to avoid that we're gonna make this box here which will have a normal hose connection to this port right there but then it will have an AN bung on this side and then we can take this off put an AN bung there. So both the AN lines for the cooling system will go down this side to the back of the truck and we'll be able to pop the cap off and fill it through right there too because it doesn't have a fill right now. And I'm gonna be smart about this this time. I'm gonna put a couple different bleeding ports throughout the cooling system so you can crack them all loose, fill it up. Once coolant starts coming out, crack them all closed. Because the worst part about rear mount radiators is bleeding them. 80 by 80 by 28. All done. Print out two of these, bend them both in the middle, put them together, two seams to weld, and then the two caps on each side.
Oh, is it full, literally? Yeah. Hey, yeah. I didn't realize it was like completely full. Oh no, show him. No, 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 bro. Show him, show him what's going on here. No. Yeah, show him. No, no, no. Show, tighten oh, it up, bro. Bro, tighten it up, bro. <laughs> Come on. <now. laughs> tighten that thing up, bro. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Pretty sick. All right, I'll put it on the right, the right way, bro. Tighten it all the way down. Come on now. Right there. And then and bun, all right, just seeing two big old and lines coming down right there. It's gonna be awesome. And then back here, it's gonna be connected to that. It's gonna be awesome. So that is it for now. Still have to get the bung and the normal just hose part for this box. But then the box is done, all the other cooling system parts are done. There's still a lot of little things to do up here, but now that this is all built, we can do all the little things. I'm really happy with the way it all turned out. It's gonna be nice and easy to maintain. Maintain. I'm hoping it's gonna cool nicely. And I think I think it looks sick. I had a couple of my patrons hating, you know, well, maybe a little sad guys, but I think it looks sick. I wanted to get a couple more things done in this video, but I'm going out of town as you guys see this. I'm also kind of sick, so maybe I'm not going out of town. I'm just staying home and being sick. Either way, I wanted to get this video out to you guys, so here we are. We're, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're gonna hear this thing fire by the end of September for sure. Maybe, but no, not by the end of August. But if you guys wanna watch that next video ahead of schedule, you can click up there and become a patron. You know what else you get on Patreon? free drift track t-shirt that says, I helped build this. Because if you're a patron, you did help build this. That shirt is only available on Patreon, so check it out if you're interested. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. <coughs>